today we're going to talk about one of the most important Splunk commands out there. It it is invaluable, even though it uh, it doesn't appear to right off the top of the surface. And that is the head command. The head command is the way to make sure that you don't bring back a whole bunch of data at one time. When you are trying to build your data, a lot of the time you're going to start building some very complicated queries, and you do not want Splunk to be generating lots and lots of traffic, then be computing all the stuff that you're going to do. So you just use the head command to reduce down that the data you're working with. So if you go, for example, lame training source type at lame con, and I'm just going to go grab head 10. We've talked about lots of different ways to make sure that you reduce down traffic. You want to make sure that you don't have a large window. You want to make sure that you don't run verbose unless you absolutely need to. Well, when you are starting to go through the using the verbose command and you're going to start building stuff and you're going to build pipes, use this head command here and this will just bring back the first 10 results. And then you can just start writing your stuff down here and start doing some nice, fun, complicated uh, things to your your data set, and the computer's only going to have to work on those 10, uh, 10 records. You could start doing lookups and other things that start becoming computationally intense. And you want to make sure that it doesn't take, especially while you're building them, that you're not sitting there waiting for the thing to run, wait 30 seconds and a minute each time you press the enter or the search button. And so this head will save you a mass amount of time. By default, a head will just give you, will give you back 10. I have it just in muscle memory to always write head 10, but you don't really need to. Head defaults to 10. But if you go to say head 1, that'll give you the very first result. You can go head 1,000, and you'll get back, if there were 1,000 results, 1,000 results. Um, it does not, it, it will only stop, uh, it makes sure no more than that amount of data comes forth. Anyway, I hope this is helpful and that you can see how this can make uh, be a great tool as you start to write more complicated queries. And I hope this helps you on your journey from becoming a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.